Ooh, uh, mm, hello, Galaxy. I'm Chris Perillo. I think I did that correctly. I, I've been uh, wanting to punch software in the face, and uh, I, I can't because it's software, so it's virtual. I could punch hardware in the face, but then, you know, that would cause damage, and I'd, I'd hate to do that. Plus, I, I tend not to be a, a, a punchy person, but man, these... These buttons are, are sticky and, and weird today, so thank you for bearing with. Uh, did I start this video by saying, hello, Galaxy, I'm Chris Perillo. Uh, thank you for joining Discord, as hundreds of you have over the past uh, few days. The link, of course, is in this video's description. Uh, it's been fun. I've set up uh, a few different uh, channels, uh, including one uh, where I've basically uh, funneled uh, tech news, Android and iOS and Apple and Microsoft and the like, and even video games and stuff, PC stuff, uh, into uh, a tech news feed type of channel. Uh, and then, of course, we have the, the different sub-channels, and, and, and no one's really on topic, because there is no topic. It's kind of it's kind of like me. There, there really is no topic. This is a show and tell. Uh, I've, I've got some things on my desk that otherwise would just sit here, and so I want to you know, kind of move on with life. And so I wanted to talk about the things that happen to be sitting on my desk right here, as well as potentially uh, to uh, entertain questions. Uh, thank you, Ben Cody Kirk, uh, for joining, as well as for being a YouTube member. That's one thing about uh, the, the Discord chat. Uh, you get special privileges, like being able to, you know, use external emoji, embed links, upload photos, as I was fiddling with um, a few minutes ago with Ben uh, on the Discord server. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Chirag is also here. Uh, and he's also, I just made him a mod in the Twitch channel. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch, and you should, because one of the reasons I'm doing these uh, live videos Tuesday nights, because Wednesdays, tomorrow, as of right now, today, Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Pacific, I'm live streaming for Intel. I've been working at Intel since March, and specifically for Intel Graphics Growing Community, and I thought, you know, one way of engaging community is to actually, instead of just talking about the games that are Intel Graphics supported, I thought, why not play some? Uh, so uh, I'll be playing Cuphead once again uh, uh, tomorrow, and there's an anniversary that's about, uh, so stay tuned for more information on that because Intel's actually doing a few Cuphead and hardware giveaways that uh, have been uh, teased uh, if you've uh, been following uh, Intel's social channels. Uh, I, I may be making mention of that in tomorrow's uh, Twitch broadcast as well. Uh, you love the old IRC chat. It's nice to have chat back. I agree, Ernesto. You know, it is it is nice, and, and I'm, I'm glad that so far so good with the the Discord server. There's not been a flurry of activity, but, you know, it's it's kind of like Cheers, you know, where everybody knows your name. In fact, I, I've recognized quite a few old names and new names, uh, in, both in between. Hello, The Collecting Dad. Stay tuned, because this Friday, i got to tell you all about the schedule. Um, tomorrow, Twitch. And, and I've been doing Twitch more than just on Wednesdays as well. Uh, but on Friday, I'll be uh, definitely broadcasting in, in some capacity somewhere. Uh, you'll know when I announce it on Discord. Uh, I, oh, did, did this get teased on, I don't know if this video, this live video got teased on Twitter. I don't think I, I, I don't think I staged that. Uh, give me a moment. I, I, I let me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to copy this link and I'm just going to tweet it out and, 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 and with no context, right? Now I'm not even going to, oh, I'm not even, I can't. Okay. <laughs> the, the, Technology's not with me right now. It's it's been a long evening. Let me tell you. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do it over here because I know I'm logged in over here. So long as I open the right app. Uh, Friday I'll be doing the Force uh, Triple Force Friday haul, uh, assuming I get more than one thing. So now I have to type in the URL for the live video. Okay, that's it. It's just gonna be a URL. Um, nothing fancy. So now, now, now you can't say I didn't warn everybody on Twitter because I did just that. And how come I was not signed in there? Oh well. Uh, so uh, tons of videos come down the pike. As I said, Discord's uh, kind of the best place to discover what's going on. Uh, speaking of Force Friday, I have a few f forcey things uh, that are on my desk, including this uh, skull cap picked up at Target for like three bucks the other day. Very comfortable, except that uh, I can't wear it for long in here when I get hot, because then I get sweaty. In fact, I had to take off my, my very warm X-Wing pilot jacket hoodie thing, because I was really, I was working up a sweat by doing nothing. That's how you know you're having a problem. So three bucks right now. Uh, there you go. Uh, ben Kennedy asks, uh, Chris, is the new Switch Lite worth it if you already have the old Switch? Probably not. Honestly, I, I, I in fact, I'd wait, because the, the there's a new Switch Lite, uh, uh, I guess it's gone through the, the whole... Um, FCC process, uh, where they may be uh, addressing, what, what do they call it, drift? Tokyo drift? 
uh, paddle drift or something, like controller drift, the drift that happens with the little uh, thumb sticks. Uh, but anyway, so that may be getting addressed at some point in the uh, in the near future. So I would hold off on getting any new Switch lights if that might be a concern. Although Nintendo, I believe, will make those repairs for free. It's something that, that I probably wouldn't jump right into. Did it get any warmer than this morning over there? Uh, it did get warmer than 36 degrees, though not very much warmer. So I got this skull cap, three bucks. Uh, today, while thrifting, I got the Shock Trooper. Uh, brand new. I mean, pretty much brand new. Hardly touched. Uh, thrifting. So I got this for about five bucks. Not bad, considering these used to retail for maybe about 30 Hardly touched, no dust uh, at all, no no perceivable scuffs, uh, definitely not played with, certainly complete, and I did not have this one. Not that I became a completist with the Jack specific line, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm glad I waited. Uh, this has been one I'm like, oh, that's kind of neat. I like red, and I love, uh, the, I love the Trooper ethos, so I ended up getting this guy. I have no idea where he's going to go. I have no idea, because believe it or not, I think I'm the only one who likes Star Wars around here. So uh, anyway, got this thrifting this morning, quite happy about that. And then, I don't know how I stumbled upon this, but okay, Sh Shock Trooper, this is not going to shock me if you don't stand up, but stand up, please. Can you stay there? Don't fall. Um, the Star Wars Episode Three AOL disc. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm not an AOL collector, uh, but, uh, you know, in theaters, May 19th, uh, use AOL keyword, movie phone, try AOL 9.0. I thought it was kind of fun to put in my collection, but, you know, it arrived in a damaged state. I'm not very happy with the condition of this. Um, so, yeah, I, I've got a Darth Vader uh, episode 3 in my Darth Vader collection that I'm going to open because I ordered another one. <gasps> oh, cool. I'm glad I did. Look at that. It's on disc. He's on disc. Oh man, that is so cool. Free Star Wars game and much more on the CD-ROM. Whoo. See, I mean, I know they're both Darth Vader, but, you know, I'll, pro I'll probably, like, slide it in somewhere and hide Anakin. You know, just keep the Vader public there. Oh, I'm kind of glad I... I'm glad I opened a second one. So I'll have one that, that is new in box, and then one that's been opened. I'm not actually going to install it, though. That's, that's definitely not going to happen. At all. Uh... Okay, so that's that. Put that. I better be careful about where I stack these things because here I'm gonna stack them down here. I've got a few things on my desk that I need to get to. Some of which uh, you've already seen. Uh, there is a new series of Garbage Pail Kids that has been released. Uh, it's a sophomore effort to uh, Oh the Horror or the Horrible Oh the Horror. It was it was last year. They did like Halloween themed horror themed cards. Not necessarily a horror fan, but of course I am a GBK fan, mostly um, mostly a completist, minus the online exclusives. In fact, I ended up posting a photo of this this morning in a new retro fun channel that I set up. Uh, Airwolf uh, in the Discord chat said, hey, why don't we do like a retro channel and people could post old things. In fact, he was asking a question. Y'all might, you, uh, you all might know. He was looking for some kind of a way to play music. Uh, or like like you could on a, a record player, like you could set the speed like 33 or 78. I don't know if he was looking for a media player that could change pitch and speed. I imagine they would be out there, and you may have that recommendation. Anyway, in the Retro Fun channel, uh, I shared a, an image uh, to this. Uh, this is basically Series 2 of the horror Ibel. I I got these cards uh, for for Jedi though, so so I don't I do not want to open them. I don't know if she's going to like them at all, but th I, I picked those up today. Uh, don't worry, don't. I mean, I, I suppose you're not worried at all. Uh, I do have the set. Let me go ahead and peel into those, including some of the uh, uh, the extended packs. Like here's Shark Bait Kate. These are uh, part of the subset, the horror victims. And then, oh wow. Hang on. Oh, I see. They were packed in with, like, baseball cards? Who? Well, I guess, you know, if it kept them from moving around, I got, I got, I got some baseball cards. Does anybody want any baseball cards? I, do you want a Walt Terrell? I have no idea who that is. Is he a garbage pill kid? He might be one day. Uh, I'm not going to show you all of them, uh, because that would take a long time. But, like, here's Wicken... I just love the art on most of these. Most of them. There are different artists in the in the series. But if you're into horror, and certainly Garbage Pail Kids, you may want to uh, go and get the sets. Or just a few of the stickers, if you are so inclined. Let's see if I grabbed another one accidentally. Ooh, I love that one. Demon Damien. Damien? Diamond? 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 They have all sorts of spelling variations in here. I will be a Garbage Pail Kids fan for life. I don't care if... Uh, 
if, if it is another horror set, won't be my favorite necessarily, but you know, I, I, st I still got to, if only to, to be the series completest. And there's, like I said, I can't go through all of them because there's quite a few in the set. I think like about 200 cards in the base sets, uh, not including like the uh, classic monsters stickers, or as I mentioned, the uh, horror victims. So as soon as these are usually released, I you know I I, I jump at the chance. Been doing it since the seventh grade. I mean the internet wasn't around back then. Oh they st oh they still sell those. Heck yeah. Uh, hey Avaline French, glad you like the beanie. Um, I'm sorry, I just couldn't help it. I needed to pull more out. Look at this ground chucks of Chucky, who Mark Hamill is going to be voicing. I just I, I need to stop with the garbage buckets because I will keep showing them to you. I love going through these and, and then putting them in binders. And if only to go back and, and reflect upon, you know, the ones that I've collected in the past. All right, I will put those Garbage Pail Kids there and spare you uh, any more, I hope, baseball cards uh, or, or Garbage Pail Kids. It, you know, maybe if you want to see more Garbage Pail Kids, okay. Maybe I can take some pictures and put them on Discord. I don't think anybody's going to want a whole video on them. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, there was a, a company that reached out to me and they said, Hey, um, we've just released... A, 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 a Game of Thrones uh, house pin badge set. I'm like, whoa, cool! That's that's awesome. I'm thinking, oh, that would have been awesome, like, uh, you know, back in the series. But even 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 now, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm still into Game of Thrones. I didn't mind the last season, so uh, I have I have the pin. So I'm gonna do the break the the cardinal or, or break the cardinal rule. Never open your collectibles. I'm gonna open the collectibles. So I can show you. Cellophane removed. Let's see how they're stacked. Eh, pretty nicely. Oops. Ooh, hang on. Ooh, one of them fell out. Let's see if I can... How does that... How does it turn? How does it work? Wait a second. Things are... I, I think they were put in the wrong spots here. This is very bizarre. Anyway, uh, there we go. Pin set. Of course, I'm House Targaryen. Everybody who, who who's respectable is a house Targaryen. I don't know which house you are. This is a very nice pin set. Very very nice. Uh, licensed, of course. Um, so you know this this would be. I know there are many Starks out there. Uh, no, what do you mean no? No, of course. Oh, Targaryen, because I said Targaryen. <laughs> oh, because I opened the. I, I've made so many mistakes in this video. That would be the uh, latest mistake. Like I said, they were kind of uh, put in here a little awkwardly, but these are wonderful. Like they're like uh, it's a nice little metal. These are not cheap at all. So which sigil do you use? Well, would you wear? What's your house? You know I'm Targaryen. You know where I stand. You know where I stand. I feel somewhat vindicated too. At the end, I'm like, well, it's, the Targaryen technically did win. And then they gave it to Bran. Spoiler alert. Uh, so there's the uh, the Game of Thrones pin set. You can get it as well. Uh, it's from the Koyo store. That's the URL right there. If you are so inclined. If you are like a Game of Thrones fan. And let me put it this way. Uh, I can I consider myself a fan not just because I you know watched everything and appreciated it, uh, but I I actually subscribed to HBO to to watch Game of Thrones. That was the only thing that I wanted in getting HBO. That, to me, tells me I'm a fan, because I'm willing to pay for something, pay for entertainment. Uh, I did the same thing. I know this is going to blow a lot of you out of the, out of the water here, uh, but um, the uh, uh, I did the same thing with Star Trek uh, Dis Discovery. Not Dis was it, Is that the new... Discovery, right? Yes. The new one on CBS All Access. I paid for it. I paid to, to watch the rest uh, after ha having binged it uh, very briefly. I, I, I paid to watch all of it to this point, and we'll do it again. I will. I will pay to watch Star Trek. That to me is like you know the fact that I go above and beyond for something that you know. Oh well, I can get TV for free. No, no, no. I'm willing to pay for certain entertainment if I enjoy that entertainment. Uh, Star Trek, Game of Thrones, right? There's there's certain things that I will pay for. So I, I I guess I would consider myself a fan. I mean, granted, it's not my core fandom. Now speaking of core fandom, I've got another item here. You're gonna love this. You're gonna think you know that I'm I'm be I've become a Bradford Exchange addict and that's probably very accurate because they've got some very nice collectibles like i mean there there's some things that you know i i collect that i enjoy like uh for example uh, gonna, i'll get back to the bradford exchange here in a second but like you know they're they're toys bradford exchange stuff is not they're not toys right these this is bradford exchange like this is not bradford exchange this, these are toys got half off 
if you get to Target, you can get the Resistance figures half off. Uh, so I got uh, a Poe Dameron with BB-8, uh, of course, from Star Wars Resistance, and then Bucket and, uh, and Jarek Yeager. Uh, half off, which is a nice price. So, the, the you know, getting two figures effectively for the price of one, uh, really nice. But back to Bradford Exchange, not toys. Uh, and in fact, very, very much so not toys. So this week, I'm going to highlight the Darth Vader Stein. This is the certificate. This is the only cup, if you will, mug, if you will, only Stein that I have that has a certificate of authenticity. Uh, so it, it is heavy duty, uh, ceramic, uh, uh, you know the, the actual mug itself, ceramic, so very uh, very delicate. Uh, but the the top here, metal, uh, and then you can see here the uh, lightsaber handle is a part, or the lightsaber is the handle. Um, then that little lever there has got the Imperial insignia. At some point, they're going to possibly have to update that to the Sith insignia that we now know exists thanks to uh, the rise of Skywalker. Um, give me a second. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> thought I saw something come in. Uh, on the top, we've got Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Again, that top, all metal. You could drink out of it. I find your lack of faith disturbing, Darth Vader. I like the front, though. The front the front is a win. And then, of course, the way they, they've designed it like, uh, uh, you know, an Imperial uh, a cruiser. Or an Imperial starship, uh, like the walls. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little. That's a nice little uh, touch. Uh, very, uh, very well crafted, numbered. Uh, there you go, Darth Vader, Star Wars. Um, but yeah, this is definitely this is a, a very nice addition to the collection. I don't think I'm going to be drinking out of it. Um, I mean, I could, but I just, I, I just, I, I'd hate to to damage it in any way with water that was too hot. Like drinking hot cocoa out of it. Dark chocolate, the dark side, right? But the uh, either way, very high quality, uh, as I've come to expect, as many people have with the Bradford Exchange. Uh, Darth Vader mug, uh, definitely a, uh, something that would catch people's eye. You know, a little beyond the. I mean, there. I mean, I'm. Not, it's difficult for me to make comparisons, right? And I'd hate to. I don't want to slag any other like you know mug out there because I love all of them equally. But like you know, there's the fun mugs. You know, the fun Darth Vader mugs, and then there's, like, the serious Steins. So the question is, is, you know, which side are you on? You can be on, you can be on both. But for, for something that's definitely going to catch attention and something that's definitely high quality, uh, Bradford Exchange, because, like I said, I don't have any other mug that comes with a certificate of authenticity. So thanks again to the Bradford Exchange uh, for sending this along. Uh, I will be placing it in the collection. Vader facing out, of course. Uh, Edward 40 hands. <gasps> oh, okay. How big of a stein? It's big. It's it's bigger than Ben Stein, is my guess. Just 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 slightly bigger. Uh, what's my opinion on the gar uh, opinion on the Garthams? Are they terrifying as heck? As cool as heck. Well, now that I know how the Gartham came to be through the Arathim and the Gurinak, were those the uh, uh, creatures uh, from from the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance? Now that I know how they came about and the, the history of the Arathim in relation to the Gelfling, uh, they're pretty scary. Yeah, they, I mean the, the fact that they were engineered specifically by the scientist. Yeah, I mean. Like, I would not want to face one. I wouldn't want to face an Arathim. And, and they, well, I, spoilers, 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 spoilers. Not going to go there. Uh, did you know Ad Astra Film? Is it good? I, I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't seen it. Probably won't until it's a renter. Uh, another thing I have on my desk, speaking of Star Wars, and I, I'm probably going to be jumping around uh, a bit, not physically, uh, but also thrifted these two the other day. Uh, of course, I, I've had an Inquisitor before, but this particular Ezra I did not have. Uh, the one when he was in the Academy. Uh, I don't know if this one's complete or if he also came with a helmet. I know later uh, editions or releases of Ezra did come with that helmet, uh, but I got this Ezra. I did not have this Ezra figure before. Can't have enough Inquisitors. Star Wars Resistance spins up here again in a week or two, which I'm excited for, naturally. Uh, then I guess I will stick with the uh, a Star Wars theme for right now. Uh, I just picked up this book uh, for, for Jedi. Be more Leia. Find your rebel voice and fight the system. Because heaven knows I am... I am definitely in the resistance. Uh, choose your path. I mean, these are words of wisdom. Banish thoughts of failure. Be proactive. Celebrate small victories. See, they good, really good guidance. Unify your allies. Prove your loyalty. Be the boss. Ooh, that might be dangerous. Own your success. I mean, really, 
uplifting books. Uh, but you know, before you get too freaked out, they actually have <laughs> uh, a corollary. Hang on, give me a second. Um, <laughs> where did I put it? Oh, Chris, where did you where did you put it? I do this all the time. Give me a second. I swear to God, I can find it. Dude, where did I put it? There's one that's called Be More Vader. Where did the Oh, it's over here somewhere. Um, is this it? Did I put it here? No, that's not it. Oh, come on, Chris. Come on. Where'd you... Uh, okay, anyway, I thought I was going to be able to show you. Now I can't seem to find the Be More Vader book. I have it here. I know I have it here. It's, it's Be More Vader. And I keep all my books over there. Unless I put it somewhere... I know I have it. And it would be in this room. Be more Vader. Okay, well, you know, be more Leia or be more Vader. I figured this would be a little more inspirational. Yeah, you know what I need to be is a bit more organized, apparently. Uh, so now I'm going to jump to something. Not physically. Uh, but uh, I got uh, sent a Rubik's Cube of sorts. Something called Color Blocks. Uh, for ages 8 and up. Now, what's wacky about this is, number one, I've never solved a Rubik's Cube in my life. Uh, I've only solved a pyramid once, and it was on accident when I was a kid. Um, and did not remove the stickers or anything. It was called Pyraminx, I think it was the name of it. It was back when Rubik's Cube was first all the rage. Uh, but here's what's wacky about this. Each one of the blocks is a different shape. Like, okay, so I don't know... Who thought this was... <laughs> who thought this was an amazing idea? But are they demons? What kind of monsters are they? I'm like, who? I, I'm never. There's no way I'm ever going to be able to. I mean, so I can't even solve a regular Rubik's cube, let alone one that you know has blocks of different shapes and sizes and colors. That's just. This is what. Uh, funny though. I mean, like, wow. I mean, you, if you if you've been challenged by the Rubik's cube, or if you weren't challenged, then you know, kick it up a notch with the color block. So they sent this. I'm gonna hand it to Jedi to see if she's uh, what do, what do they call the the really smart people? Genius. Is that the word? <laughs> I know that's a word, but like, you know, when they're really smart, like a really, really, really smart. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, I am. I'm proving I am not one of those people. Uh color blocks but then they also said this is a this is a bit in, in, intriguing as well the mind bending mind turning challenge ages 2 or 7 and up. sorry i heard a noise downstairs ages 7 and up 2 to 4 players rubik's cage win the game by placing 3 of the same colored cubies in a row the secret is in how the layers of rubik's cage can be turned and flipped oh okay so you play it with two players on up, so then you put the cubes in, and then you turn it, and then whoever gets three in a row on any side wins. Okay, this is, this would be kind of fun. Okay, now this one I could do. This this is the kind of game I could master, right? Because there is probably some degree of skill, most likely luck for people who don't know how to master Rubik's, but this is more of my kind of puzzle, <laughs> like more of my kind of game. Uh, th this one's more like, I hate you. Here's a Rubik's color block. <laughs> I'm sorry, color blocks. I don't hate Rubik's for sending these. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's just very. There's. I could not. I could not do this. I couldn't. I just know enough about myself that it would just inevitably be like. Uh, what's the name of the the the? You know the the art that looks like that. What's the? There's a style of art by a, by a certain painter that look. It, it would be. It would become this permanent art exhibit on my desk. Uh, but you know, Rubik's Cube, I, I, I'll never forget, it was all the rage growing up, yeah, like garbage spell kids, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a child of the 80s, what can I say? Uh, speaking of, uh, these stickers came with another package that, uh, arrived today. Game over, man, game over! Rest in peace, Bill Paxton. Game over. It's a sticker, uh, it also has, I, I don't understand this, okay looking, is this a meme? I've never... I've, I'm not aware of this meme. It wasn't Van Gogh. Van Gogh wasn't the artist. Uh, insert coin. Ah! It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. That I know. That's the Zelda right there. Uh, old school, that's definitely me, a joystick. That's me. In fact, uh, Airwolf and I were, were chatting last night. I guess Steam even has a whole Atari 
our arcade old old arcade games in the in the Steam store. I put it on my wish list. I may end up buying it. It's like ten bucks for like a hundred or so Atari games. Be kind of fun to stream with everybody. Classically trained, I was as well. Again, the the NES controller. Grew up with the NES and the Atari twenty six hundred. And then, but our princess is in another castle. Never beat Super Mario Brothers ever. That's that's one of those things I've considered doing. But it, Nintendo kind of puts the smackdown on on content creators putting their stuff out there. So I'm like eh, I'm a little kind of iffy on that. Whether or not I ever will, I don't know. Uh, thrifting this morning found this brand new. I know Jordan uh, from Cinelinks would probably like it because he's a Darth Maul collector, but it's like a, a really, like, I don't think ever used uh, lunch bag. A Darth Maul lunch bag. I, at least I don't think it's ever been used. Looks like mint. I mean, look, still got its new with tags right there. Star Wars on that side, Maul on the other. But it was, I was like, oh, sure, why not? You know, for a few bucks. Can't have enough mall in your life. Here, you guard that, shock trooper. And then, those stickers that I was just showing, and I think this is just about the last thing that I have to showcase this week, and then we can get into talking and answering questions and all that. Uh, Shirt Punch sent those stickers, and, and uh, they make t-shirts. So they asked, yeah, hey, are you inclined to, to, to try any of these t-shirts? I'm like, yeah, send me some Vader stuff. So here's the Death Stars, Vader in the Death Stars. Like a rock band with Chewy, Luke, Han, and 3PO right there. Uh, pretty thick, pretty heavy, so just in time for winter. They may need a washing or two. And then this one I really, really wanted. Um, a Samurai Vader. Very nice artwork. Very, very nice. Um, so... Shirt Punch is the name of that company. I know there are a lot of t-shirt companies out there, but you know, you got Star Wars stuff, I'm happy. Now speaking of... I could pull this out. I never opened it. Ah, my three printed Vader there is. Be more Vader over here. I don't think it is. Um, I do have the Samurai a Taisho Darth Vader. I do. Never opened it. Never opened it. It was like, it was just too good. I mean, I know I should have opened it. I mean, it's just beautiful, right? Uh, but I never did. So I probably need to get another one at some point from Bandai, uh, if only to open. And pose, but you know, I, I, like I said, had him for years. I, you know, I see. I knew exactly where he was. How do I not know where B more Vader is? It's kind of disconcerting. I don't. I, I don't lose books all that often. Certainly not Vader books. It's like right over there. One got like crammed in like some kind of nook or cranny or or something. Uh, so okay, that's that's all I had to show. Uh, I've told you about tomorrow's live Twitch stream. Hopefully you're following me over there. I uh, told you about uh, Discord chat. You're more than welcome to join. It's the uh, link in the video description. Uh, YouTube sub, or I'm sorry, YouTube members, Twitch subs, and Patreon supporters get special privileges in the Discord chat, but the chat is open for everybody to interact in. Uh, you just set up a retro pie today? Oh, cool. I don't think I'd ever go that far. I've been pretty happy with my uh, um, arcade machine. Like, it's got, I mean, I've got all the ROMs that on it that I, I probably could ever want. Um, you know, I'm kind of a, a DI buyer. I, I'd say, oh, yeah, you build a re you, you build a RetroPie machine, and then I'll buy it. <laughs> That's me. Uh, I'm looking forward to the, possibly the, the Atari uh, console that they've been developing. They've been talking about for some time. I was originally like a like a, a funder for it, like a, a crowd funder. And then there were some weird things that were happening in the beginning. I'm like, I still have a chance to get out. I'm like, I'm out. I'll wait until it ships, and then I know what's going on. Uh, you know, I may end up, you know, eventually uh, getting it and playing on it. But, you know, honestly, I've just been swimming in the past week or two in, in games. Not just the stuff, you know, I've been playing Cuphead, of course, streaming that, um, you know, on the PC. Looking forward to playing even more PC games, too, as, as we open up the, the field and working with more uh, of, of our, our partners in the ecosystem, Intel's ecosystem. Um, but, like, Apple Arcade, I've, I've played maybe one or two games because I haven't had time, right? If I'm not doing this, I've been doing another thing. Uh, and then, of course, Google Play uh, with their Play Pass, I've really, really liked. I've really appreciated. Uh, I've got a few games. In fact, I've got a whole games folder. Like, very casual, very simple to play uh, 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 games. That's that's my kind of style. But uh, I, I've been surrounded by so many games, I just, I don't. I do not have the time for it with as much as I have to do or that I am doing. Um... <laughs> There's so many games. I'm just swimming in them. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do I like the Beatles? Uh, they're okay. I don't listen to them all the time, but I, I have no problem with them. Uh, I know YouTube, I have a stupid question. What is Twitch? Is it like Facebook? Twitch is like 
mixer. That's the easiest way to put it. Uh, it's games. But all, uh, that said, there's they're definitely stretching beyond games. So if you like watching people play video games or just like live chat and hanging out, Twitch. Uh, that That's Twitch. Um, you mean you install all the ROMs of the games you own? No, I don't own any of the games. I'm licensed for the games that I play. Uh, Rise of Resistance at Disney Parks will be a 15-minute ride. Thoughts? Yes. Not long enough. Needs to be a half hour or go home. Uh, I am looking forward to it. Uh, when when I originally talked to Katarina uh, at uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge back when it launched at Disneyland, uh, she was telling me what it was going to be. I'm like, dude, that sounds so cool. Like, you get to go, like, into a Resistance hangar, or maybe it's the First Order hangar or something, and you're, you're moving around, and Kylo Ren's chasing you. I'm like, that sounds so exciting. I mean, that's, I think that's that, that's a nice way to fill out um, Galaxy's Edge. I know it hasn't done well, but I, I, I've had my thoughts on that, and it's not that Galaxy's Edge is horrible. It's amazing. The problem is, Disneyland is expensive, and I don't just mean Disneyland outright. Like, if you live in Anaheim, it's easy access, and you probably have an annual pass. But it's expensive to stay in hotels. It's expensive to travel there. It's expensive to get into the park. It's it's expensive sometimes to do things in the park. I mean, those expenses add up, especially when you're just more than one person, right? As a family, you just can't... It's... It, it's it, it needs to be a big thing. So that they're adding this other attraction is great. I think they need to con- continue to expand with sh- like shows, like you know day day long types of, of experiences, and they need to build it out. I would not give up on um, Batu any in, anytime soon. And I don't think they are with as much money as they're uh, I- I- investing in it. I don't I don't think that's going to disappear anytime soon. That's just you know that's my thoughts. Those are my thoughts on the matter. The Garbage Pail Kids movies thoughts on that movie. Yes, it was horrible. Every once in a while, it's on cable and I'll like just kind of passively watch it as I'm doing something else just going oh man this was bad Uh, but you know campy was the name of the 80s right and it just it failed for a lot of different reasons I didn't even get to watch the Garbage Pail Kids cartoon it didn't actually air that I know of they were it was scheduled to air and then ultimately it got yanked Um, those the Garbage Pail Kids cartoons were later available I think on VHS and DVD you can watch them on um, on YouTube, certainly. Those are kind of fun. They were the Saturday morning cartoons of, of the 80s. I mean, it was just a certain... It was an era, right? But I, I, I like that stuff. Thoughts on the blue milk? I enjoyed it. You were you were expecting blue dyed milk? No. It was not... It was not. It was more smoothie. It's kind of a free smoothie. I enjoyed it. I did. I didn't try the Thala Siren milk, though. I didn't. Favorite Halloween candy? Dennis Camacho asks. Uh, definitely not candy corn. Definitely not Peeps. Um, favorite. I don't know. I mean, growing up, when you got a candy bar, that was that was a big deal. Uh, candy bars were my favorite growing up. I just don't eat a lot of candy anymore, and I obviously I don't. I'm, I'm old. I don't do trick or treating. Hey, three D printing and RC with Heath. Do we need to set up a three D printing room in the Discord server? I don't know how many three D printers are out there. How many hardware heads are out there? I don't know. You know, what we create on the, the Discord server is kind of uh, up to what y'all are doing, what y'all want on it, in it, through it, for it. Um, it's kind of being defined by uh, by you. Uh, your Obi-Wan Kenobi went to auction? Wait, what? Auction? You were auctioning off your Obi-Wan Kenobi? That's crazy. I did not get to go to Oga's Cantina, unfortunately. There was a line. There was nothing in there that I was necessarily chasing. There's a few bits of merch that I still want from Disneyland and Galaxy's Edge. Um, I don't think there's anything from Oga's Cantina. The one thing, I can tell you, the one thing that I'm angry about, about Galaxy's Edge, let me just be clear. Thank you for the question. Not the question about Halloween candy, because now you have me thinking about candy corn. Uh, and, and Clayton, you and I are apparently mortal enemies when it comes to this this candy stuff. <laughs> Obviously, I'm, I'm joking. Uh, oh, I'm not joking. Candy corn is horrible. That That's not a joke. That's serious. It's like peeps and candy corn, they live in like sugar hell. That's that's where they That's where they should stay. They're like the spawn of candy, like non-candy candy. Ugh. Uh, so, uh, anyway, um, the spork at, at Galaxy's Edge, metal spork, I actually had it, took a picture of it, too, and didn't take it, because I, was, I asked, I'm like, can I take the spork, and they said, no, 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 it stays here. Then people kept taking the sporks from Galaxy's Edge, and now they're not making them anymore. I'm like, oh, man, just sell them. I'd buy them. So, if anybody has a Galaxy's Edge spork out there, uh, I would like one for my collection. That would be awesome, but if you don't, Chances of getting one are now between slim and none, which is uh, which is very sad. Yep, let's say I'm buying a new car and paid off my mortgage. Wow, for 
for wait, what are you selling? 3D printing with Heath? Your Obi Wan Kenobi, not a 3D printed model. You must have had a good one if it went to auction. Dang, dude. Uh, Clayton Lancaster, uh, are you going to film any Force Friday hunts or pickups? Uh, probably not going to film the hunt, but definitely going to do like a uh, like this kind of show and tell on Friday, showing you what I got, possibly the stories uh, thereabouts, uh, if I'm if and when I'm able to get out because Friday is a work day. Um, but uh, I would expect that um, you know I'm going to be doing most of my hunting in the very uh, early morning hours. Uh, and then maybe early evening if I have a chance. But beyond that, probably won't have uh, much luck, uh, on at least on Force Friday, Triple Force Friday. Um, oh, a Spirit Coin? What's the Spirit Coin? Is that the gift card? I've got one of those, thankfully. But no, the, didn't get the Spork. Um, but I am looking forward to Force Friday. And, and I am looking forward to twitching uh, more gameplay uh, on uh, with Cuphead uh, uh, tomorrow. Maybe should, I wonder if I've got time. Let's see here. Oh, it's still pretty early. I may uh I may end up doing um yeah, I may end up doing some twitching tonight. Maybe. Or mixering. Oh I will I can tell you this. I will be mixering mixering. I will be on mixer on Friday, probably late or certainly on Saturday because I'm getting Jedi Fallen Order on the Xbox One or for the Xbox. Uh, so I'll be playing that. On, on the Xbox. I don't think I have the PC version. I'm, if I do get the PC version, then I'll be able to stream, you know, on Twitch and, and, and YouTube and, and whatnot. So, oh, it's the gift card that discontinued. The, the coin thing, I have one. Yeah, I got lucky that Sarah and her porgs on Instagram goes there frequently enough, and she ended up giving me one of hers. I was very, very, very grateful for her. You have a YouTube channel where I open GPK with my wife. Will you plug it? Yes. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, we can let it, we, we, we can let it, we can let it through. You can type it again. Type it again, Avo. Shrog, you're a great, you're an amazing moderator, and you did the right thing. But he, if he's it's GPK, I'll, I'll let it pass. Uh, as long as you join my Discord server, and and then we can GPK out together. Because I'm I'm apparent. I did. I thought I was the only the GPK fan. Um, so uh, it's okay, Shrog. He's good. Uh, great moderators. Great community. Uh, did you, Avo? Did you just tune in? Did you just tune in? Because did you hear me talking about the... I gotta ask, because like the beginning of the video, I, I was literally talking about... And I, I've got the set as well. So it's nice to have... It's okay, Shrog, don't apologize. You're fine. Uh, it's nice to have another GBK fan out there. Yes! I've got my original collection over there. Okay, you did see. That's awesome. So cool! Oh, love it, love it, love it. I love meeting other geeks like me. Uh, let's see here. What else? Um... Nothing really. I mean, there's been, like I said, plenty of geeking out about a, a whole bunch of random topics on Discord, including tech topics that I know a lot of people want to dive into. Uh, I really don't have much to say in, in that respect that I haven't posted in Discord, including sentiment that I saw from Marco Arment um, saying, basically, he's very frustrated with iOS 13. I'm like, that doesn't surprise me. But a developer, an alpha developer saying that? Yikes. Yikes. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening with the, uh, um, I don't know what happened, if there's anything happening with the audio and video, I couldn't tell you what's going on, I can tell you I was having a mic problem with my, my PC the other day, it's very, very odd, so, uh, I apologize that my audio's out of sync, I don't know why, I don't know why it would be, everything else seems to be normal, uh, hey Jeremy Bittner, hope to see you in Discord. Hope to see everybody in Discord. Uh, I'll be pimping and plugging it indefinitely because it's nice to have more people there. Uh, because with more people, we're able to do uh, more things and have more fun. So um, I appreciate the faith. I appreciate you trying something new, old with me, bearing with me, uh, having fun with me, talking with me. Um, yeah, seriously. Avo, here, here's the thing. So if, you, if you're a GPK guy, I have like... I go. I mean, I go all the way back to the first series, which I got for my my sixteenth, fifteenth birthday. Like it was cr like old school. I have the original. I have the full run, including variants, very like uh, uh, very like rare variants that like where numbers weren't printed or names were were eventually removed from the fourth like the fourth series, like Crystal Gale and, and whatnot. Um, Woody Allen, I think, was another one from the four series. Yeah, and I'm I'm an old school GPKer, so I'm looking for other GPK fans because I would like to have a thriving GPK channel on my Discord server. But two people probably isn't enough. <laughs> Just like Star Wars, I want to have a thriving Star Wars channel and not you know a, a Google Pixel channel if enough Google Pixel fans are out there. Fran Fran, I have Fran Fran and Schizo uh, Schizo Fran. I do have Fran Fran. 
Uh, bang Discord. Yeah, just uh, the link's in the, the video description. What's my favorite Halloween movie? I, I You know, I remember watching Killer Clowns from Outer Space as a kid. It was a campy kind of movie. It was stupid fun. I'm not into horror at all. Uh, Discord server is in uh, the... The link is in the video description. Should be. If it's not, uh, I will add it. Yeah, it's right there. Join my free chat room. Right under You Can Become a Member... Um, on YouTube, get special privileges on the uh, d discount uh, or the Discord server. See, I know I'm not the only Pixel fan. You should do a Star Wars, Star Wars cooking show featuring the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, the official, official Black Spire Outpost cookbook. I would like that, except A, I can't cook. Uh, B, Diana doesn't really follow recipes. She does an amazing job on her own. Like, she's just, she's a, she's a, a genius in the kitchen uh, with food. Uh, and we don't have that cookbook yet. I don't know, so I don't know if we're going to get the cookbook. We have the Wookiee cookbook, Wookiee, Wookiee cookies. That cookbook, Jedi, you know, you flip through it and see, see, she'll, she'll see food. She likes food. That's what Jedi likes. Jedi likes food. Uh, more Jedi likes food more than Star Wars for sure. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. I'll see uh, some of y'all tomorrow if you're able to make it uh, on the 1 p.m. Pacific live Twitch stream. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm doing a better job, at least by way of Discord, to better announce. What I'm doing, what I'm what I'm up to, when I'm live streaming next, where I'm live streaming next. We've got some bots set up. Can always add more bots. We've got a leaderboard. I'm number one. Hashtag shock. Uh, right now, uh, <laughs> I think Trog is is hot on my heels. Uh, are, I'm, I got I got to start wrapping this up. Right, but I will answer a couple more questions. Uh, is there a chance the family vlogs will return? Probably not. Maybe for the holidays. We we might do a weekly one because it just takes too much time, and my day my day is spent doing Intel stuff. And then an addendum to that, Diana has been live streaming Jedi playing. So if you look on the Discord server under uh, vlog stream, is the channel name when she tweets. And ninety time, ninety percent of the time, ninety nine percent of the time, she's tweeting when she's live streaming. It'll get announced in there, so you can you don't have to turn on notifications necessarily. If you see oh vlog stream, a new post there, you can go through uh, some of the live videos that Diana has posted. They're just uh, you know through Periscope on on Twitter. She she also posts them to YouTube, but YouTube notifications have been broken. Big time. I don't know, man. Notifications are impossible to keep up with anymore. Uh, and then as far as Star Wars Mandalorian tours, toys, I will. I don't know which ones yet. I, you can't be a completist anymore. That's a sad reality to face, but it's the truth. I'm very sad about that. There's so much. There's so much, and I can't have it all. But the Mandalorian stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in. I'm in. I'm more excited for the Mandalorian than I am the Rise of Skywalker. Um, thank you, everybody. But I think the sticker meant it's okay looking. Oh, okay. Maybe that's maybe that's what it meant. Thank you for the clarification because I have no idea. Uh, all right. I love you. I appreciate you. And at this point, I will leave you to your own devices. May the force be with you. Always.